Hello, welcome back to the Mark Jannard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about how to run your own AI, but private. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So let's talk about setting up the GPT for all. You should always be concerned about what you download from the internet. Uh, and the gold rush of AI models certainly allows for the possibility of someone to post malware on the internet, call it AI, and then sit back and wait. GPT for all is published by Nomic AI, uh, which is a small team of developers, but the app is open sourced, published on GitHub, where it has been live for several months for people to poke and prod at the code. While nothing is totally safe, that's assurance enough for me to believe that it's secure enough to recommend. So um, before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So GPT-4 All's download page puts a link to the Windows installer or OSX or Ubuntu right up top. The installer itself is just a small 27 uh, megabyte or so file that will download the necessary files, which you'll be able to assign to a specific directory. The first screen of the installer has a link to settings, which you can ignore. Downloading the app itself required just 185 megabits or so, and the app installs in just a few seconds. So. You think you're done? You think you're done? No, you not. Not really. No, you not. You thought you was done. Gotcha. <laughs> so after launching the app, you'll be greeted with the release notes and an option to contribute your usage and or your chats anonymously to Nomic. And okay, you might want to pass, you know, on this if you're concerned about your confidential information being seen by somebody. But y'all know y'all nobody, so. <laughs> just kidding just kidding so it's here though that that you get to pick the uh, conversational models that you'll be using don't think of these as personalities instead these descriptors give you an idea of how sophisticated the model might be uh, to your right you'll see some key information the number of parameters is a general indication of how sophisticated the model is the the more the better but larger more sophisticated models require more ram and you'll want to make sure your pc has enough you'll also see how much storage space the model will take up on your desktop in general you'll need a pc with at least eight gigabytes of ram so here are some pieces of advice try out the top the mistrial open orca as a starter provided your PC has the available memory, ignore the ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4.0 models down below, as they are essentially just a front end to the ChatGPT 4 found elsewhere on the web. I don't know why these are even included. <laughs> there are more models that can be assessed via the button at the bottom of the page. And if the font in the app is too tiny to read, try the index on the GPT-4 all download page at the very bottom. So using GPT-4 all, using GPT-4 all is pretty straightforward you're presented with a chat interface. You can interact how you'd like. Try asking for a story about a dog who flies to Mars, <laughs> Mars, or a poem about cats who like cheese, whatever. Don't be afraid to ask things that you wouldn't want you know, to be made public. You face mountain hospital bills. You have 40,000 in uh, you know, the 401k, and you want to know what to do about your taxes or healthcare. What should you prioritize paying off college loans or a mortgage? AI may not have the answers, but it may have some suggestions. Okay. So play with it, play with it. I, you know, the models that appear to be on chat TPD for all site have been uh, sanitized. So you won't be able to ask for a, you know, a dirty limerick. Okay. So be careful about that. So that's what I have for you today. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Stay safe. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.